Hello viewers and welcome back to another Let's Play series. Today we're going to be taking on a, a, a game that I've not covered previously. This is a game called Reunion. Uh, this is a sort of uh, space strategy game uh, for DOS from the, uh, the mid-90s. So I'm just going to boot up the game. I cannot remember what the actual uh, file is. I think it is just start. This is Reunion. And I'm just gonna let a little bit of the intro play here. So epic, we've got some guy who looks like a cross between the Silver Surfer and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm not entirely sure what his relevance to the game is. He seems to be the same guy from the from the actual box art of the game, but yeah, I, I don't know. He, he doesn't make any real appearance in the game after this, so yeah. Anyway, this is the starting credits, so just while this is um, ongoing, um, I'm just gonna give a little background about the game. So this is um, this is a, a kind of space strategy game uh, from the from the mid nineties. I think it was around about nineteen ninety four. This came out, um, and it's by a company called Amnesty Design, who were later renamed uh, to Digital Reality, uh, a company from I believe off the top of my head from Hungary, um, and. Yeah, they were later quite well known for making the Imperium Galactica series, which originally was intended to be a sequel to this game, as far as I'm aware. Um, this is, in a sense, this is Imperium Galactica Zero. Um, so, if you if you notice anything familiar about this game in the way that it plays in certain areas, it's possibly because you may have played, played Imperium Galactica, and there are some similarities there, although there are also a lot of differences. Um, the music is awesome as well. You'll notice this. I'll, I always like to, to mention cool game music when I uh, when it is present in games, and this is certainly one of those ones. It's some pretty awesome music. Um, I used to love the soundtrack to this game. Um, but yep, uh, there's also a pretty epic introduction, which is uh, just coming up. So I'm. Pretty much just going to shut up for a bit and let the introduction speak for itself. It is quite an epic one. Um, so, hopefully, the game won't crash. It does sometimes. Yeah, here we go. Here is the intro. Middle of the 22nd century. The Earth enjoys a period of prosperity and peace. Majority of weapons are abolished. Humanitarian and ecological problems are gradually eliminated. Any nation showing aggressive tendencies is dealt with swiftly by UN military forces. Eventually, the Earth is a conflict-free zone. In this enlightened atmosphere of unity, scientific progress accelerates. Two thousand five hundred and sixty three. Over fifty years of dedicated research comes to fruition when the UN Nuclear Research Laboratories successfully combine elements of Einstein's unified field theory with antimatter physics, creating a new form of spacecraft propulsion. A new form of power can literally warp the fabric of space and therefore bring points within it closer together. This makes travel between solar systems in a relatively short time period a distinct reality.
2575. Tool 40 equipped research ship Steve. Their mission is to find other Earth type planets suitable for colonization. Explorer 1 is listed as missing, presumed dead. Explorer 2 completed her mission successfully, returning to Earth after locating several habitable planets in a distant but reached section of the galaxy. Thousand six hundred and fifty. Explorer 2 is refitted in space dock and made ready to travel back to the new planets. A strange uprising begins on Earth. People are becoming hostile and overthrowing the establishment. A bloody conflict ensues in which the growing number of rebels are victorious. He's done talking for a bit. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, the introduction is pretty epic. It goes to this uh, interesting section here, which is clearly very Star Wars influenced. Um, but yeah, there's a rebel uprising on Earth, which is strange because it seems like the the Earth has just turned into a, a peaceful utopia by this point. Um, it seems to be a rebel uprising out of nowhere, um, which is interesting. I wonder if there was anything that may have triggered that. Not that I'm foreshadowing at all here. Um, yeah, there's a, a few other things to take note of in the, the intro there. There was obviously two explorer ships that were sent out. Explorer 2 made it to some new colonisable planets um, and is in the process of being refitted to potentially colonise these planets. Explorer 1 was unfortunately... Uh, contact was lost with Explorer 1. Um, but that's, uh, again, something to keep a mental note of as we may... Uh, we're revisiting some of these uh, little nuggets of information. This, um, as we can see here, is a little Star Wars-esque depiction of a battle between the uh, the rebels and the rebel uprising on Earth and the um, the, the non-rebels, I guess. Um, <laughs> I, I actually really like this. I think it's really well done. Intruder alert, Inspector. I repeat, 
Take control of planet Earth. The last order of the old regime was the emergency departure clearance for Explorer 2. Explorer 2 leaves the solar system behind and heads for the new planet. The new launch window causes the ship to pass through an uncharted asteroid field on its way. There is damage to the warp field generators. 2621. Explorer 2 arrives at the new solar system. The crew escape using safety pods. Most do not make it to the new Earth. Shortly, a new Earth colony is formed. The struggle for survival begins. Present day. New Earth colony is now well established and close to old Earth technology at time of uprising. A new leader has emerged with the full backing of the populace. His mission to return to space and reconquer the Earth. To reunite. Choose your hero. Okay, so the the mission is to reunite with the the old Earth. So uh, just in case that wasn't made clear, there 300 or so years have passed since the um, Explorer 2 just barely reached the the new Earth colony. Um, so the the introduction basically goes through almost a thousand years of history um, from the from the kind of mid 22nd century there, right through to present day, which is star date 2927 according to the manual, which I have right here. Um, there was a couple of little bits that they did skip in the, the intro within the game itself, um, mainly just um, some chronological events going back to the late 20th century. Um, essentially the the, the storyline sort of begins in late 20th century Old Earth. The collapse of the Earth's biosphere begins. Uncoordinated measures to slow down the collapse are implemented with negligible success. Um, by the mid uh, 21st century, 24 to 8, the Earth's biosphere is highly damaged. In some areas, are subject to dangerous levels of radiation. And at this point, the United Nations members agreed to devote all resources into saving the planet. The uh, the population was not happy with this. The, a lot of countries were unhappy at having what they felt was their, their self-determination removed. Um, they felt they were being forced to cooperate and there was a lot of civil unrest at this point, which was basically stamped down by the, the UN. Um, they uh, basically kind of militarised and um, just completely crushed anybody that got in their way. Um, it was. We, we either work together or save the planet, if you're not on board, we are against you and you're going to die. So, ultimately this did result in a peaceful utopia, 
um, but it was not without its um, difficulties at first. Um, they did have to go through some, some difficult means to get there. Um, of course, further down the line, there seems to be a rebel uprising on Earth that has appeared out of nowhere. Um, the rebellious forces have caused the premature um, launch of Explorer 2 and its rush to set up a new colony elsewhere in the galaxy. Uh, which has now been established and it's now of a relatively high level of technology and 300 years later we are beginning our mission to reunite with the original Earth. So without further ado we will start a new game. We get to choose a hero, we get to be either a male or female leader. I'm going to go with the, the guy just because, yeah, for a particular reason it makes absolutely no impact whatsoever on the game other than the person that you get to see at the middle of this desk. So, this is the main screen of Reunion. This is our government headquarters, I suppose. Uh, we can click on various things on this screen to go to different parts of the map. There's also a menu up at the top here. Um, so I'll go through some of this in some detail as we go through. Um, you may notice that for the first part of the game, at least, I will be rushing through this a little bit, and there is a very good reason for that that I'll gradually explain here. So, um, we do have a little bit of time at the start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, so this is this is the, the date here. It's 29.27, and it is the 15th, I guess, of August, and we, that's the hours through the day. You can actually click on that to speed time up, or a left click will... Um, increase the speed somewhat, a right click will rapidly increase the speed that time goes past. So you can pretty much fast forward your way through when you're waiting for things to happen. You want to be careful with that at the start of the game. Uh, again, I'll cover that in a moment. So, we are kind of all alone here at the moment. We can hire commanders. So, these are the various commanders that we can hire. Uh, we have a choice of pilots, builders, fighters and developers. Uh, developers basically help you research. Um, they all have different stats, uh, different abilities, um, and the, the the fighters they they basically can kind of help you deal with uh, battles, space battles, and that kind of thing. There again, there's three different levels of ability here. Yeah, Builders, yeah. same deal, construction of buildings and colonies. Um, more skilled builders, I think, build things faster and are capable of building more things. Pilot. And pilots deal with piloting, uh, which is fairly self-explanatory. Um, they, you, you, it's, I believe it's impossible to actually launch trade ships out of Earth's or New Earth's orbit without a pilot. And better pilots can fly a bit faster, I think. Um, to begin with, we don't actually need a pilot yet, as we have no ships, so we can leave that for just now. What we do yeah, want to get right. right off the bat is this guy. Even in the, the instruction manual, there is a quick start guide for this game that comes in the instruction manual. This is the little quick start guide, and it comes with... Basically, because this is quite a complex game, it actually comes with a sort of... You probably won't really be able to see that, but it's um, a quick start guide, which basically guide you through the first um, section of the game up to building a colony on the, the moon. Um, it's even in this guide it basically says uh, you know you can you can hire the cheapest advisors the exception is when you hire your developer you should appoint the man in the middle and it's not kidding this chick is pretty useless. Um, her, her stats maths one artificial intelligence one physics and electricity two. Um, when you're researching uh, each, each thing that you can design research making. has a um, requirement here. So this one um, would be doable by her. This one would probably be doable, but we will very quickly with her get to a point ben. where she is no longer skilled enough Commander. to actually invent Developer. anything. This guy gets a little bit more... Um, he's a bit more useful at the start of the game. He'll last us a little while before we have to train him. Up. You can send your advisors to university um, and ben. they will improve the skills, but eventually we will be hiring the um, the best, uh, probably in every every category, eventually. Um, now, oh, the satellite is ready for production as well, yeah, he has just researched that satellite because we had already clicked on it research. before. We can also research the minor droid and this will not take very long. Uh, minor droids basically 
allow you to to mine on your planets, um, and the satellites allow you to see what the what the planets are right, like. Please. So before you before you're able to colonize or do anything on a planet, you you need to send a, a satellite out to it to um, to look at it. Now, what we'll do we'll buy. We have one minor droid. I'm going to buy okay. another eight minor droids, and I'm going to buy, buy say, five satellites okay. just now as well. These all cost resources as well. The ore that they need is basically stuff that you um, you mine on your planets. Um, all of them are mined apart from detoxin, which is sort of drilled from derricks on the surface of certain planets. Not all planets have all the resources, so you will have to. Um, can search around a bit for other stuff. We've found a new planet and it is Amnesty 1. I'm just going to keep these at the default names. You can actually rename the, the planets but I'm just going to keep them at the default names just so you can probably keep more easy track of what's actually going on. Uh, so Better. just with that discovery there, um, look at the galactic map. So there's normally three planets here at the start. We've also just discovered this one. Uh, new Earth planet. is our planet where our own colony is and Apollo is the moon of New Earth. Uh, the other planets no, no, no. haven't really been Blue properly mouth. explored yet. No, no, no. Um, so we would need to send um, a ship over to these to, 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 to see if they've got any moons and to um, research them further. Uh, the reason we've been here for 300 years and haven't really discovered an awful lot of planets yet is purely because the, the colony has been being built up in that time and it's only very recently um, in the history of the, the planet that we have basically got observatories and started looking towards the stars again so it was only very recently that we've started discovering some of these other planets. What I'm going to do now we should probably have, yeah we now have five stores of satellites, what I'm going to very quickly do here is I'm going to go to Apollo and send a satellite, satellite to it. Deployed. So we've now sent a satellite to the, the moon of New Earth. We can now see some detail on the surface. Uh, we can look at planet info. Planet information. And we don't really know an awful lot yet about this, but we will gradually get some details from our satellite, uh, which will tell us planet. more. We also, this is our main colony. This is New Earth itself. So this is our colony hub. This is what a colony looks like. All these buildings do kind of different things. Um, so this is the, the main, main command center, um, Planet information. The, uh, this is a hospital, a leisure center, information. Um, all that kind of stuff. Now we have two minor droids already working on this planet, so they are mining away. As you can see we can get uh, Energon, Cremair and Lepidium as well as Detoxin on this planet. So the, 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 the first three there or the Energon, Cremier and Lepidium, they're all mined. Detoxin is Surface. not mined, but it is basically extracted from derricks such as this one here. We're going to be building a whole bunch of these uh, shortly. These are nuclear power generators. If you don't have enough of those, your planet will run out of power. Um, this is a farm and a food production facility. If you don't have those, your people will starve. Um, things like churches, parks, leisure centres, they're all just uh, kind of boost the happiness of your people. Apparently Apollo, the moon that we sent a satellite to, is ready for mining. Attention. Uh, your satellites have found some ores on the planet. It would be beneficial to extract and utilise these ores. It certainly would. Better. Now, the part Planet. of the reason for this, as I was saying, Planet. not everything Planet. is present on Planet New Earth. New Earth does not have uranium and it does not have texon. And these will become important um, at a later Surface. date. Uh, Apollo actually does have rhenium, so that would be potentially somewhere useful to, to start mining so we can get that uh, resource that we are unable to get on our uh, home planet. So, uh, we don't really have anything to do with that information yet, but just as I speak, we have invented the miner station. Uh, so we can now research that, uh, which we will do right now. Um, what I'm also going to do is send a satellite to one of these other planets, perhaps. Uh, let's just pick one. Let's go to Zeus, uh, which is a big blue planet. Send a satellite over there. Oh, security check. Let me see one of these old school 
read the word in the manual type things. Bird at the bottom of page 16 is Colony. Okay, we're waiting for the satellite to arrive here. Probably going to take a little bit of time to get there, so uh, while it's doing that, this is the local. Uh, local bar. We have a bar right in the command center with some suspicious looking characters. Our satellites were destroyed. We better find another way to launch them. The developers have started research on a satellite deployment vehicle. Oh dear. Okay, apparently we can't launch satellites outside of a uh, new Earth orbit without some sort of transportation mechanism. Method. So the miner station is now ready for production. We can't transfer it to planets though, so that will Research. give us another um, thing that we'll probably need to research shortly. We'll need a, we need a means of transporting the miner station to planets. We also need a means of transporting our satellites elsewhere. There's no specific prompt Method. that you need to do. Yep, there we go. The satellite carrier has been invented. It's quick fire throwing a lot of Research. stuff at us here this game. It does this at the start. Um, right, so we're now going to research the satellite carrier, uh, which will be our first yeah. actual ship that we can pilot. So for that we will need a pilot. We're also going to need to start building things on our colony as well. We're going to need more mines um, to get us more resources. Go so I'm going there. to hire a builder. Uh, we could go with the cheap Nothing. one, who's really cheap. Uh, she's not super expensive. Nothing. We can actually afford the top guy as well. Um, for now, I think we'll go with this one, just to save us a little bit of money at the moment. We can probably get away with increasing the taxes as well, just so we have... Because we, when it gives you this description here, population 32,892 loyal people. Oh, the transfer ship's been invented. That basically means that the people are happy, uh, they like me, and as long as they don't hate us, we can raise the taxes. Uh, and that will increase our income from this planet. I'm going to raise Back this to difficult just for the moment, um, just so we have a little bit of extra income at this point in the game, as we will be doing a lot Perfect. of building here. Now, we want to build more mines and derricks. Mine. Uh, everything's working 100% at the moment. Uh, that basically means we have enough power um, on the planet, but we Service. will probably quite rapidly need to build extra power plants and they are quite expensive. Um, for the moment, I'm going to build some Beard. more mines. Beard. Two, Beard. three, four. Beard. Beard. Right, another six mines and they are built. So I just rapidly went Mine. through time there. We, we now have eight mines in total. Uh, okay. we can, you can have up to a maximum of nine yeah. mine androids working on a planet at one time. So I'm going to build another mine somewhere. Fortunately, it's not going to be very neat because everything's in an awkward layout. But right, Mine. add droids add here. Droid. Okay. We now have a whole bunch of droids uh, mining away on our planet here, and that will increase our Perfect. resources. We are going to want more detoxing, though, as that could potentially end up falling behind. I'm going to build an extra nuclear generator down here as well, um, and then I'm going to build a bunch of derricks. Beard. One, Beard. two, Beard. three, Beard. four. Okay, we need more money. One, Beard. two, three, nope. Building faster than Beard. we can actually afford to. Right. That, that'll be eight derricks. We will build more of these, so there's, we've discovered Amnesty 3. We will build more derricks shortly. Um, and I'm going to research this transfer ship as well. And we are going to build satellite carriers. I'm going to build a... Four, okay. I guess, satellite carriers. Message. Bye. Right, we'll build five okay. satellite carriers to start with. Uh, that will mean we can Bye. take five satellites. Okay. And we Bad. will be able to build a group. So to, to actually use our satellite carriers, we need to build a unit. Um, I'm going to make this a carrier group. And this is going to be called... Sat 
satellite. Is that how you spell satellite? I'm never sure with uh, this word. Satellite. I'm going to go with that. That might be wrong. Right. A uh, satellite. Okay. Okay. Create that. That means we can, once they have all been built, we can put five satellite carriers in there, and each satellite carrier can carry one satellite. So, um, we will then be able to take these and explore the galaxy uh, once we. Um, Go and throw a banner. Yeah, we can. We can basically launch this and move the yeah. satellite carrier around to a different destination. So what I'll do, um, I'm going to call this the end of the first video um, before this drags on too long. In the next part we will continue exploring our immediate area and um, you'll um, no doubt see a whole bunch of extra things happen because this game is pretty rapid fire at the start. So anyway, in the meantime I'll catch you next time. Hope you are enjoying this so far. Uh, if you are, give us a like, leave some feedback in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Thank you once again. I'll catch you next time. See you later.